Hi, this is Buddy Martin. If you have an award or a trophy in your house, there's more than a good chance it came from BJ Trophies Gifts and Awards. At BJ Trophies, Floyd Hershberger and his staff have a lot more than just trophies. Among the items they specialize in are donor recognition walls and trees, personalized or engraved gifts, cast bronze dedication plaques, wide format digital printing with posters, banners, and signs, and promotional products. Floyd is the official trophy and awards maker for the Voice of Ocala radio show and is North Central Florida's leader in custom recognition programs, corporate awards, industrial engraving, unique gifts, and advertising specialties. When Angie Lewis went shopping for something to award to the winners of her State Farm Good Neighbor Award, she shopped first at BJ Trophies Awards and Gifts. Check them out at 1735 Northeast Jacksonville Road on North Magnolia's Miracle Mile or call them today at 352-732-2249. BJ Trophies Awards and Gifts. Trophies is just our middle name. Hi, I'm Tom Ingram, CEO of Gateway Bank, the new old-fashioned bank. Let us introduce you to OCUS, a simple way to bring your business online. Through this relationship, your business can have a fully functioning website in less than 30 minutes. We will also provide you support with social media, sales tracking, e-commerce, and online scheduling, which is all optimized for mobile users. OCUS, now at Gateway Bank, Silver Springs Boulevard, Ocala. Come visit our technology center for your total small business solution. I'm Tom Ingram, and I'll see you there. Welcome back to the Voice of Ocala on a Monday afternoon, a nice, sunny, but blustery, windy Monday afternoon. The chill has arrived. Time for another dip into the chill zone as it'll be 37 tonight, 37 tomorrow night, and 32 degrees Wednesday night. So we thought summer was on around the corner, but we got one more chill in us, and this is all part of the winter storm that is wreaking havoc from Washington, D.C. all the way to Maine. We'll keep you updated if anything changes there. Over the weekend, five different planes with bomb threats received via Twitter. On Saturday, two planes, NORAD scrambled fighter jets to escort two planes to Hartsfield International Airport. Hartsville Jackson International. I can never get forget that Maynard Jackson got his name attached to it. Hartsville Jackson Airport in Atlanta. Uh, was partially closed down as they brought these two planes in for what they for what NORAD was saying was a credible bomb threat that they received via Twitter. Then yesterday, two planes had touched down in Seattle, the International Airport in Seattle, immediately isolated due to multiple bomb threats. And the third plane, a Delta flight, originally Scott scheduled to fly Sunday afternoon from L.A. to Orlando was diverted to Dallas because of security concerns that are being reported to as bomb threats. So over the weekend, three separate incidents where bombs were threatened. The pilot of the second flight was uh, the um, that landed in Seattle from Phoenix. The pilot there said he heard of three bomb threats Um the threats were described as having low credibility, but you got to check them all out. The Seattle Times reports the last time a similar event was occurred when a plane was isolated for the rest of the fleet was, in sep- was on September 11, 2014. It remains unclear whether the three Sunday bomb threats are connected to Saturday's bomb, bomb threats or even to each other. So the FBI is, of course, and Homeland Security is looking into this. But three, five bomb threats received... Over the weekend, five different planes with bomb threats, all received over Twitter. And you know, you gotta you gotta take these threats seriously. You, you you hate that some nut is out there doing this, but the one you don't take serious is the one that's not a nut. It's actually somebody doing it. So I understand why they have to divert the planes. I understand why they have to take all these protocols. But boy, if I was a passenger on one of those planes, I would not be happy. The plane that flew into Orlando, scheduled to arrive at 8 o'clock, arrived about 11.35 last night. 
I mean, that's three hours behind schedule. But I guess three hours behind schedule and alive is better than on schedule and a bomb going off if there was one on the plane. So <clears throat> I just don't understand what it is that causes people to call in these kind of threats. But, you know, I'm not a nut like that. So you never know what motivates people to do something like this. Uh, just, it, it makes no sense to me. It disrupted flights. We already got it bad enough with this storm, and then they go through with the bomb threats and all. Have to close down, partially close down, the busiest air, airport in the United States, Hartsfield-Jackson Airfield. I mean, that that's... That's got to be very frustrating. Very frustrating. This weekend at the box office, Clint Eastwood's American Sniper remained a phenomenon in its second week, earning a stunning $64.4 million and quickly becoming the number two war film of all time at the North American box office. Its domestic total through Monday is $200 million for Warner Brothers. So in two weeks, it's only made... No, I actually on only 10 days released. American Sniper has eclipsed the $198 million earned by Michael Bay's Pearl Harbor and will soon overtake the $216 million grossed by Steven Spielberg saving Private Ryan. Taking inflation into account, Private Ryan would have earned more than 300 by today's terms. Sniper is sure to eclipse that number when all is said and done. So, it only lost a quarter of its audience. In a week, the film's ongoing streak underscores its appeal to middle America and boosts its getting elsewhere from scoring six Oscar nominations, including Best Picture and Best Actor Bradley Cooper. So still on top of the box office is American Sniper. Doesn't matter what Michael Moore thinks about it. People are going to see this movie. And, you know, when Michael Moore does this, the things he's done talking about how snipers are cowards and all, that just makes other people want to go and watch the movie. Somebody who may not have been wanting, somebody who may not have been to go see the movie, now is going to see it because of the fever Michael Moore did. Last night was the SAG Awards. Speaking of movies, SAG Awards last night. Outstanding performance by, these are usually, as you know, the SAG Awards usually are a pretty good derivative of how the, a pretty good, um, derivative's not the word I'm looking for. It's a pretty good indicator of how the Oscars will come out. And last night, the outstanding performance by a female actor in a supporting role went to, of course, Patricia Arquette for Boyhood. Outstanding performance by a male actor in a supporting role went to J.K. Simmons for Whiplash. Both of those are who Laurie Martin Gregory, when we talked earlier last week, a week and a half ago, she thought would get the nod as Best Supporting Actor and Actress. Outstanding performance by an ensemble in a com- comedy series went to Orange is the New Black. William, Sh- w- William Macy for Shameless got outstanding performance by a male actor. A female actor in a comedy was uh, Uza Aduba for Orange is the New Black. Outstanding performance by a male actor in a television movie or mo- uh, miniseries, Mark Ruffalo for The Normal Heart. Outstanding performance by a female actor in a television movie or miniseries, Frances McDormand, Oliver Kittredge, Olive Kittredge. Kevin Spacey won for male actor in a drama series. Uh, female actor in a drama series went to Viola Davis, How to Get Away with Murder. And I just didn't, never got into that show. I know it was a pretty good show, but I just never got into it. Ensemble in a drama, drama series, Downton Abbey. Outstanding performance by a male actor in a motion picture went to Eddie uh, Redmayne for Theory of Everything. Outstanding performance by a female actor in a motion picture went to Julianne Moore for Still Alice. Outstanding performance by a cast in a motion picture went to the cast of Birdman. Lifetime Achievement winner was Debbie Reynolds. So that, that was the SAG Awards last night. Um, the Screen Actors Guild is the, the actors make up quite a bit of the Academy that votes for the Oscars. So people really think that uh, it's an Oscar predictor. So 
that remains to be seen how accurate it predicts the Oscar. But it sort of mirrors what Lori Martin Gregory and myself talked about last week. Um, Buddy Martin saw the movie Boyhood over the weekend. We'll have to get his take on that. I know that um, in just a brief conversation him and I had, he really thinks Patricia Arquette was fantastic in this movie. And that's what Laurie said, too, was Patricia Arquette was amazing in this movie. So I, I want to ask Buddy, though, is it does he feel like this movie's getting the acclaim because it's a great movie, great acting, or that it took 12 years to do, and that's a different way to film movies now and everything, and if it's just the the... the the, the the new it thing is to do movies this way and if that's helping it in the Oscar hunt Buddy Martin will join us to give us a preview of what's coming up on the show at 45 after the hour today it is um, the voice of Ocala once again we'd like to thank we'll be at the Coats Golf Championship live on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and then the Saturday sports page will, will come broadcast from there live on Saturday morning Thanks to the good people at the Properties Salon and Kinetic Motion Fitness, KMF Fitness downtown, KMF downtown fitness. Plus, I'd like to thank Chris Halley and Jason Linhart uh, out at Ocala Golf Club for also helping out with a sponsorship of the Voice of Ocala live from the Coats Golf Championship. But really, really, the good folks at Properties and KMF and Regions Bank we really thank them for all they've done for golf and for getting it, making it able for us to broadcast live from such a prestigious event for the city of Ocala and Marion County. You're listening to The Voice of Ocala, 1370 AM, 96.3 FM. We're live and local on The Source. Let's give it up for old asphalt and a new pair of shoes. Let's give it up for a good rhythm meeting a sweet melody. For a church cookout under clear skies. Let's give it up for good things coming together, like bundling your auto and other policies together with an Allstate agent, which can save you time and keep you better protected. Let's give it up for good. To receive your comparative insurance quote, contact the McDonald Agency at 622-2333. Located next door to Silver Spring State Park and a few minutes from historic downtown Ocala, our award-winning Holiday Inn Express Hotel and Suites of Silver Springs is the place to stay for a friendly, memorable, and fun experience. Enjoy our fast and free Wi-Fi, complimentary hot breakfast, and free parking. Whether you're in town for work or play, our friendly staff will make you feel right at home. That's the Holiday Inn Express and Suites of Silver Springs. Proud sponsor of College of Central Florida Basketball on WOCA The Source. Regions Bank has big bank ability but possesses small bank agility. Utilizing tools like Raymond Andrews and his team of six mortgage experts with 100 years of experience in the mortgage industry and 50 years experience as members of the Regions Bank team. Mortgage lending is personal and important and you deserve someone that will lead you through a positive process. Raymond and his team use local mortgaging processes like local appraisers and local closing to help you have a positive experience and they habla espanol as well. So whether you need a conventional, FHA, USDA, or VA loan, or you even need a construction loan, the mortgage team of your local region's bank has the knowledge and experience to guide you through the process. So contact Raymond Andrews and his team of mortgage experts at 352-854-4104. That's 352-854-4104. Regions Bank, it's time to expect more. Fox News Radio, I'm Pat O'Neill. A storm possibly of historic proportions. That's what forecasters call a blizzard moving into the northeast. Massachusetts Governor Charlie Baker says it could have huge repercussions. The storm will result in widespread power outages that may exist for multiple days due to the high winds. 
which in many cases will prevent utility crews from operating. Massachusetts, among several states, issuing travel bans. A small drone landed near the White House overnight. Officials say the drone posed no threat to the White House, but acknowledge it was flying at a very low altitude. Upon crashing, the entire White House grounds were put on immediate lockdown. Fox Radio's John Decker. The Secret Service says a man has now come forward to say he was responsible, but did not mean to fly the drone over the White House. Coalition forces have pushed ISIS out of a key town in Syria. Control would have given the militants access to a border crossing with Turkey. Fox News, we report, you decide. America was built by people with a few dollars and a dream. And while many don't know it, there's one path to success that still only requires a dream and about $10. That's right. If your dream is to start or grow your business, something as simple as the right business card could make all the difference. And today, at Vistaprint.com, you can get 500 full-color business cards for only $9.99. That's right. Only $9.99. Just go to Vistaprint.com and enter promo code 4433 at checkout. That's Vistaprint.com, promo code 4433. As a retired teacher, I look for ways to save money for the things I love, like traveling the world. Medicare plans change each year. Fortunately, my HealthMart pharmacist helped me understand my insurance, saving me money on prescriptions. And they can help you, too. My pharmacist cares about my health and the things I love, whatever that might be. HealthMart, caring for you and about you. Visit HealthMart.com for the locally owned pharmacy near you. Looking for something fun and exciting? The Water Circus from Italy is returning to Ocala at the Southeastern Livestock Pavilion on January 30th to February 1st. Because of popular demand, Circus Italia is making extra stops in the area. Even better, they're offering a special discount for our listeners only. At the Circus, you can get one free child ticket with every adult ticket if you say source. For the first time in America, this unique Water Circus has limited show dates in Ocala for just the weekend of January 30th through February 1st. Daredevils will amaze you with performances on a 35,000-gallon custom water stage. See Death Defying Stunt, Laser Man, Mermaid, and a Singing Man Upside Down, all under the white and blue tent by performers from around the world. Plus, after each show, everyone can meet the performers and take pictures with them for free. Circus Italian is finally here at the Southeastern Livestock Pavilion, so bring the family. Look for the big white and blue big top tent. Kids of all ages are welcome. This weekend happening now. Hey, I'm Gary. And I'm Eric. Did you know that Red Eye Radio is on WOCA, The Source, every night from 2 to 6 a.m., and it's live. That's right. No tape shows here. We know that the news doesn't sleep. And neither do we. So we're here with you live from 2 till 6 a.m. every weekday. Call us, 866-90-RED-EYE. So join me, Gary McNamara, and me, Eric Harley, every weeknight to discuss the latest in news and entertainment right here on WOCA, The Source. Hey, Matt, I know Sunrise Automotive does auto stuff, but I need some tires for my truck. Can you recommend someone? Uh, yes, I can. We do that. No, I mean, I need them installed and balanced and all that. Yep, yep, we do that. Well, my son needed his windows tinted. Yep, we, we do that. I need too. my seat replaced. Yep, yep, we do that, too. I need a new roof line, a new spoiler, and a new Yep, truck. we can even do that, too. Okay, okay, I get it. I suppose you can also do a radio show, too, huh? Well, as a matter of fact, join me every Monday at 10 for auto repair with personal care here on The Source. Of course you do. Hi, this is Buddy Martin. If you have an award or a trophy in your house, there's more than a good chance it came from BJ Trophies Gifts and Awards. At BJ Trophies, Floyd Hershberger and his staff have a lot more than just trophies. Among the items they specialize in are donor recognition walls and trees, personalized or engraved gifts, cast bronze dedication plaques, wide format digital printing with posters, banners, and signs, and promotional products. Floyd is the official trophy and awards maker for the Voice of Ocala radio show and is North Central Florida's leader in custom recognition programs, corporate awards, industrial engraving, unique gifts, and advertising specialties. When Angie Lewis went shopping for something to award to the winners of her State Farm Good Neighbor Award, she shopped first at BJ Trophies Awards and Gifts. Check them out at 1735 Northeast Jacksonville Road on North Magnolia's Miracle Mile or call them today at 352-732-2249. BJ Trophies Awards and Gifts. Trophies is just our middle name. 
Hi, I'm Tom Ingram, CEO of Gateway Bank, the new old-fashioned bank. Let us introduce you to OKUS, a simple way to bring your business online. Through this relationship, your business can have a fully functioning website in less than 30 minutes. We will also provide you support with social media, sales tracking, e-commerce, and online scheduling, which is all optimized for mobile users. OKUS, now at Gateway Bank, Silver Springs Boulevard, Ocala. Come visit our technology center for your total small business solution. I'm Tom Ingram, and I'll see you there. Welcome back to the Voice of Ocala, live from the palatial studios of WOCA on a Monday afternoon, a breezy, chill in the air Monday afternoon, but it's going to get colder before it gets warmer, folks. Wednesday, we'll get to freezing, 32 degrees will be our low on Wednesday, but then it's back to 68 degrees for a high on Thursday during the Coach Golf Championship. Dan Martone found an interesting article for me earlier today. For those of you who don't know much about the LPGA, Kari Webb, his, um, she's had 41 victories on the LPGA Tour. Most recent was 2014 JTBC Founders Cup. She's won seven majors. Her most recent was the Kraft Nabisco Championship in 2006. She's made just shy of $20 million while, while on tour. In 2004, she played 19 events, made 18 cuts, she had four, two victories, four additional wins. She won the Australian Women's Open in her home country and overcame a six-shot final round deficit at the JTBC Founders Cup to win on the final round. She carries the Olympic list, uh, list carrying the Olympic torch on the eve of the 2000 Sydney Games is one of the coolest things golf has been able to do. Her ideal day, she said, I'd just spend time on my boat and her famous on-court memory is holding out the final hole from 116 yards to win the Nabisco Championship in 2006 for a seventh major title. But then Dan found this article, and I think this might be her best memory on course. When Kari Webb won her first tournament as a pro at Golden Ocala 20 years ago, she was intrigued by the eight replica holes, or as they called them here, as they called them here the tribute holes. This is from an article written by Randall Mell. A first-year pro playing the Futures Tour Golden Flake Classic. Webb had never actually played any of the real holes replicated here. She had never played Augusta's 12th, 13th, or 16th, St. Andrew's 1st or 17th, or Royal Troon's 8th, or Mirfield's 9th and Baltus Raw's 4th. Webb, Kari Webb makes a return to Golden Ocala this week as part of the star-studded cast playing the new Colts Golf Championship, the LPGA season opener. Uh, a field of 120 players, you know, will compete for $101.5 million. She says, it's pretty cool now to think the only course I haven't played is Royal Troon. Webb said in the replica holes, it's good to come back. And now having played those courses to play the replica holes again and see how close they are to the real deal. So that was pretty cool. I didn't realize that 20 years ago, there was a golf tournament called the Future Tours Golden Flake Classic. It was the first professional golf tournament of Kari Webb's career. Held at Golden Ocala, and she won the thing. She was one of those little bits of information that, wow, I did not know that. Remember when we did that on the show? Wow, I did not know that. Well, I did not know that. Buddy Martin to join us in the 4 o'clock hour. I talked to Buddy earlier today, and we, we agreed it was kind of a weak television viewing last night. The Pro Bowl, unwatchable. The NHL All Star Game. I mean, it was the most. Un- it was to me even more unrealistic than the Pro Bowl. Usually, hockey games are three to two, five to four, two to one. The All Star Game was seventeen to twelve. Seventeen to twelve. That was unwatchable. Sixty minutes last night uh, opened up with John Boehner and Mitch McConnell sitting next to each other telling us how terrible the president was. 
president has an approval rating of 46%. Congress has an approval rating of 15%. The American public don't seem to be happy with either. The Republicans say, that, you know, there's 80 more Republicans now in Congress than when President Obama took office. And that is correct. There is 80 more people in the Republican side. So I guess that benefits the Republicans in their argument. Speaking of arguments, I'm not going to have an argument with this guy because I can barely talk today. Let's go out to the phone lines. Hi, how are you today? Hello? I got you where I want you. There you are. Uh, I'll just pretty much espouse my whole political philosophy, tell you how bad Georgia Southern is, and you can't say a word about it. No, I can, I can say very little today. I'll give you that. No, got you where I want you. <laughs> But, you know, we got an interesting show today, and you can just listen and watch if you'd like run the board because we're going to talk a little bit about the Super Bowl naturally, certainly about the big event you just talked about out at uh, Cole and uh, Ocala uh, in, in Question Club and uh, the, the Coach Championship. Interesting note about Carrie Webb. I do remember that tournament. I do remember her winning that tournament. And I think a lot of people who don't follow golf don't realize what those replica holes are. And it'd be cool to remember which ones they are, and, and that would be a good trivia question in the week that we can ask people because uh, the significance is that uh, you know, those holes are really beautiful holes, and they're 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 obviously um, they're obviously uh, the imitations of those great holes that uh, that we know about as you, as you just mentioned. I, I will say it's kind of a historic day for my family today because of who's going to be in um, in this next hour. Uh, a couple of young guys that you'll be hearing from this week and hopefully a few weeks and months to come. Two really terrific young golfers, and they happen to be my, my grandnephews. Um, Palmer Lovell will be joining us, and also uh, Howie George, and they're going to be helping us and you out this week out at uh, Golden Ocala and the tournament, uh, the coach championship, and they will hopefully be doing hanging around doing stuff for us the rest of the summer. And then uh, and up until they go to college next fall, and uh, and I got some big news about where they're going to go, and Howie George in particular has some news that uh, would be uh, significant to Ocala. So I'm going to welcome those two youngsters to the show today. And yes, we'll touch upon Deflate Gate just a little bit to get it off our plate. <laughs> uh, and we do have uh, Hubert Mizell today. We're talking about Super Bowls, um, and he's attended a bunch of them. And then Woody Page from um, around the Horn fame joins us at 5 o'clock to talk about uh, the Super Bowl. He's covered a bunch of them. I believe Hubert and, and, and Woody and I have over 100 to bring the three of us, among the three of us. Wow. So we'll talk, of course, we'll have Fran Spears' update on those, those dreadful Florida Gators getting beat again by Ole Miss this time. And finally, Joe Williams will close out today talking about, I'm sure, the Super Bowl and, and uh, Gary Kubek is the new coach out of the Denver Broncos. So we got a full day today. Full day, and you know, I, I'll lend as much as I can, but that ain't going to be much today, pal. We don't have much time for you today, Tom. So you just sit back, have your tea, and, have your tea and cookies, and crumpets, and you just watch us work. Okay, <laughs> I certainly will, Buddy Martin. Hey, uh, be careful coming in. There's a lot of traffic out there with people in town for this golf tournament. I got news for you. I'm in the parking lot. Oh, you are so in the parking lot. The well, there you go, yeah, Buddy Martin. Right, thanks sure. for joining us, Buddy. In route to the palatial studios here at WOCA. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we'll wrap up hour number one in the voice of Ocala. You're listening to it on 1370 AM, 96.3 FM. We're live and local. The Source. You can have work done on your vehicle anywhere, but why would you? Maybe they correctly determine the problem and suggest the proper service? There's a chance they won't. Eliminate that chance by bringing your vehicle to Ford Lincoln of Ogallo or Village Ford of Bellevue. The professionally trained, factory certified team understands the service requirements and maintenance needs of your vehicle, and when the unexpected repair comes your way, you can be assured the work will be done correctly, quickly, and cost effectively. Look, you've invested a lot of your hard-earned money in your transportation to deliver performance, reliability, and safety. So doesn't it just makes sense to trust the professional team at Ford Lincoln of Ocala and Village Ford of Bellevue to ensure you many miles of worry-free driving and peace of mind knowing the service was done correctly. So the choice is yours. Take the hard-earned investment to whoever for service or a factory-trained certified technician at Ford Lincoln of Ocala or Village Ford of Bellevue. To schedule your next completely satisfied service for your vehicle, contact those who know it best. Village Ford of Bellevue or Ford Lincoln of Ocala, your family of Ford dealerships where we've got what it takes. 
Nestle in the heart of horse country, just off I-75, exit 354, the award-winning and newly refreshed Howard Johnson Inn of Ocala invites you to pamper yourself in one of our comfy guest rooms. Enjoy our free and fast Wi-Fi, heated outdoor swimming pool, 24-hour fitness center, and our deluxe continental breakfast. Other on-site amenities include a restaurant, putt-putt, golf, and the car wash. Go happy. Go Hojo at the Howard Johnson Inn of Ocala. Proud sponsor of College of Central Florida Basketball on WOCA The Source. Hi, I'm Lisa Midget, owner of KMF Downtown Fitness. It's 2015 and it's time for you to reach your fitness goals. With no membership fees, you only pay for what you want at KMF Downtown Fitness, whether it's one of our dynamic group classes or our personal and small group training. We are a small studio right downtown that helps men and women reach their health and fitness goals every day by simply being the best at what we do. KMF is located at 9 Northeast 1st Avenue, right across from the downtown square. For more information, visit our website at kmfocala.com. Does osteoarthritis bring frustration with every step? Do pain and stiffness affect your everyday activities? If so, you may be interested in a research study for the treatment of pain associated with osteoarthritis. Rentstar Medical Research is conducting a research study of an investigational medication for individuals between the ages of 40 and 75 and who have been treated for the pain associated with osteoarthritis for at least three months. Qualified participants will receive study-related medical care and investigational medication. Compensation for time and travel will be provided. To learn more about this osteoarthritis study, please call Rinstar Medical Research in Ocala at 352-629-5800. Again, that's 352-629-5800. You can have work done on your vehicle anywhere, but why would you? Maybe they correctly determine the problem and suggest the proper service. There's a chance they won't. Eliminate that chance by bringing your vehicle to Ford Lincoln of Ocala or Village Ford of Bellevue. The professionally trained, factory certified team understands the service requirements and maintenance needs of your vehicle. And when the unexpected repair comes your way, you can be assured the work will be done correctly, quickly, and cost effectively. Look, you've invested a lot of your hard-earned money in your transportation to deliver performance, reliability, and safety. So doesn't it just make sense to trust the professional team at Ford Lincoln of Ocala and Village Ford of Bellevue to ensure you many miles of worry-free driving and peace of mind knowing the service was done correctly. So the choice is yours. Take the hard-earned investment to whoever for service or a factory-trained certified technician at Ford Lincoln of Ocala or Village Ford of Bellevue. To schedule your next completely satisfied service for your vehicle, contact those who know it best. Village Ford of Bellevue or Ford Lincoln of Ocala, your family of Ford dealerships where we've got what it takes. The LPGA Tour will kick off the 2015 season right here in Central Florida at the inaugural Coates Golf Championship presented by r &L Carriers, January 26th to the 31st at Golden Ocala Golf and Equestrian Club. Kids 12 and under get in free with a ticketed adult, so bring the entire family to see 120 of the world's best female golfers compete on a nationally televised stage. For information and tickets, visit CoatsGolfChampionship.com. You've got a garden and we've got a show for you called You've Got a Garden with your host, Master Gardener Carol Ann Baldwin. Carol Ann answers your questions about your flowers, your veggies, your grass, your trees, even questions about your bugs. And she's only on WOCA, so don't miss Carol Ann Baldwin and You've Got a Garden each Tuesday from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. right here on WOCA The Source. You're listening to WOCA Ocala. Welcome back to the Voice of Ocala. On a Monday afternoon, it's going to get cold. Cold is returning, but just back from, I know he was at the Black Tie Gala kicking off the LPGA Coach Golf Championship. He's one of the most influential people in this town. You know, he saved the Marion Theater almost single. Well, he had a lot of help saving the Marion Theater, but still. He was one of the driving forces that got that campaign started. So, buddy, I know you were sitting tableside with John Travolta last night at the Black Tie event. 
And I tell you what, uh, I'm so excited about the future of this uh, this this theater, though. That's something else for another day to talk about. But uh, we'll uh, I, I think we may have weathered the storm, but we don't know for sure yet. So we'll talk about that somewhere along the way. But uh, Hey, listen, you got to shut up for a while now, okay? Are we going to have the Super Bowl at the Marion Theater? I'm here. Whoops. I'm knocking my stuff over. Are we going to have the oh, Super Bowl at the Marion Theater? That, that's the question. But we're here um, um, a little early. Not special. It's a couple of sessions to come on, but as I said earlier, busy, busy day. Um, we'll catch up on some recruiting, too, because, you know, recruiting right now is a big deal for the next – Next uh, ten days or so, and catch up on that as well. Is so, Florida out of the eighties now? Uh, the 70s? No, still, still in that, still in that territory. The eighty-first I saw today, but there's a big linebacker named Jackson who apparently now will com- commit go commit to them. Uh, they only get need to get a couple of uh, their stud five stars, and they'll be off and running. And they should finish. They're gonna, not going to finish in the top twenty-five or thirty. They could be, you know, they'll probably finish top fifty, which is not great. But hey, you know. Coach Mack got a late start. That's how now, it is. What so, is go and you're going to address today with Franz Beard? What in the world is going on in the O'Connell Center? I hope. Well, yeah, I think uh, it's just one of those years. I mean, I talked to him a little bit over the weekend, and he follows Florida basketball about as close as anybody does. And it's pretty clear when you look at the defense and what the problems are, and when you stop when you when, when you stop shooting uh, and hitting your shots, and then even on a night when when Frazier hit his shots. Uh, you know, they couldn't uh, do anything else right. So it's a combination of missed free throws, turnovers. This team is just – I don't think this team is going to turn the corner. This is going to be one of those years when Billy's going to have to t- take his medicine and move on, you know. It's going to, but, you know, I was talking to Woody Page last night uh, from uh, around the horn. Uh, and he, he's doing his own show now there on a website, Denver Post website. He and a guy named Les Shapiro. And it's kind of like the Dan Patrick show with the man cave and all around it and all that sort of stuff. And uh, and Woody Woody and I were talking about Super Bowls and I, this is I, I had a revelation. I'll talk about this on my commentary on Southern Pigskin. But I, I'm t- it's time to wade through all the BS and get down to the essence of what this is. America's premier sporting event. And you know whether you're a pro football fan or not, you know about the Super Bowl. I mean, the prop bets make that possible for crying out loud. <laughs> uh, and, but it's just such a oh, such a tremendous event, and it's evolution the last forty nine years. And and for guys who've been around it a while and seen a lot of them, guys like Hubert Mizell from TV Twenty, who will be our guest uh, coming up here at four four thirty, and then of course Woody Page, who's been to a whole bunch of them, kind of take you through the history of what this thing has become. It's a monster thing has become. And when you get a monster, it's the good news and it's the bad news. Do you think this game has devolved into a bunch of people that watch the game, but a whole bunch of people who watch the commercials in between the game? I think it's a little bit for everybody. Starting the culture there is part of the deal. I mean, look, let's face it. What is synonymous with Super Bowl? Crazy prop bets. And commercials. Commercials, cookouts, food. I, I, used, I used to read stats about how many millions of pizzas and hot dogs were served on that day. You had some crazy stat a couple of years ago that there was th- hundreds of thousands of pounds of chicken wings. Yeah, I mean, it's just <laughs> it's a holiday. It's it a is. holiday, and, it's, and it's, it's, it's the biggest thing we have in sports. It's the Christmas of sports because you have so much consumption of – of food and parties and sporting celebrations. Sport. It's a celebration. I've been invited to no less than five different Super Bowl parties. Hey, you turned me down already. Uh, well, I didn't say I turned you down. No, you I just didn't. said I already no, had I was going to one down. Super Bowl I got, party. I, I got to keep the score on it. Well, the Super Bowl party I'm going to, if I go to it first, you're not going to want me at your Super Bowl party. <laughs> well, I, actually, it's, mine's not a party. Right. Mine's not a party. Mine's Yours is just a get-together. Get-together with a couple of few chosen friends. And most likely my my lady friends, my, my wife's lady friends. But anyway, we'll talk about that. You're gonna get one. beat at bridge at halftime. No, well, I, I, I accept that challenge. <laughs> I'm, I got to work on my game some this week, so we're gonna and pregame, I might add. So stay tuned. Next hour coming up, we got lots for you, and looking forward to an announcement for my grand nephews here on the show. It's gonna be fun right here in the Boys Bill College. 1370 AM, 96.3 FM. We're live and local. The source. Hey, 
I'm Gary. And I'm Eric. Did you know that Red Eye Radio is on WOCA The Source every night from 2 to 6 a.m. and it's live. That's right. No tape shows here. We know that the news doesn't sleep. And neither do we. So we're here with you live from 2 till 6 a.m. every weekday. Call us 866-90-RED-EYE. So join me, Gary McNamara, and me, Eric Harley, every weeknight to discuss the latest in news and entertainment right here on WOCA The Source. Hey, Matt, I know Sunrise Automotive does auto stuff, but I need some tires for my truck. Can you recommend someone? Uh, yes, I can. We do that. No, I mean, I need them installed and balanced and all that. Yep, yep, we do that. Well, my son needed his windows tinted. Yep, we, we do that. I need too. my seat replaced. Yep, yep, we do that too. I need a new roof line, a new spoiler, and a new yep, truck. We can even do that too. Okay, okay, I get it. I suppose you can also do a radio show too, huh? Well, as a matter of fact, join me every Monday at 10 for auto repair with personal care here on The Source. Of course you do. Good credits, bad credits. It's none of our business because we're not an auto dealer. We're not a bank. We're not your mother. We're OcalaForSales.com. Marion County's marketplace for cars, trucks, and SUVs. We've got thousands of sellers standing by to take your call. No middleman. But hurry, don't walk, don't run. Just sit down and log on to OcalaForSale.com. License and inventory change daily. Offer does not include dealer lap charge. Undercutting rust proofing factory surcharge or delivery fee. See website for details. Do you have areas that have started sagging or drooping? Is what you're looking at not quite the same as it was years ago? Are there enhancements you've been putting off? Is there serious damage you need fixed? Then call on us, Damage Control Services. When your roof is sagging and the drywall is drooping after a storm, or your home just needs some enhancements from damage repairs to new construction, Damage Control Services is here to help. I'm Leah Caruso with Strive Rehabilitation, inviting you to join me Thursday at 11 a.m. for Health Matters. Ocala Health and Strive have teamed up to bring you the latest information on good health services available to you right here at home. This vital information will help you make informed decisions about your health. So don't forget to join me here at 11 a.m. Thursday. It's news you can use from Ocala Health, Strive, and your friends here at WOCA. Guy Harvey Checking is now exclusively available at Gateway Bank. With Guy Harvey Checking, you will receive Gateway's premium checking account plus several other Guy Harvey Ocean Foundation features, including membership to the Guy Harvey Hammerhead Nation, free Guy Harvey t-shirt, and an exclusive Guy Harvey debit card. At Gateway Bank, we will make a $50 donation to the Guy Harvey Ocean Foundation for every new account open. This is just one more reason why people choose Gateway Bank. Sign up today for your exclusive Guy Harvey Checking account with Gateway. Details available at gatewaybankcfl.com, member FDIC. On this episode of What Not To Do, brought to you by Mike Scott Plumbing. If water runs through it, we do it. Fire department? Why is the fire department coming up our driveway? Don't look at me. He's your cousin. Aha, Mr. Funny Man. What did you do now? Well, we were attempting to repair the water heater, but somebody forgot to turn off the breaker. Well, why is there water everywhere? Apparently, the main water shut off didn't exactly get shut off. Okay, at what point did you realize you're not a plumber and you need to call Mike Scott Plumbing? Right about the time we had the flood and the fire all at the same time. And when should you have called the professionals at Mike Scott Plumbing? Oh, That's man. what I thought. Does water run through it? Then they do it. Not not you. And don't give me the weekend excuse. You know they don't charge extra for nights, weekends, or holidays. Do you need the number? No, no, I got it. 237-2888. Again. 237-2888. Why'd you call Cousin Sean anyway? You know he can't even fix his own lunch. On next week's episode of What Not To Do. Oh, come on, a monster truck? The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. For the rest of your Monday, clear and chilly, low 42 to 48. Partly sunny, breezy, and cool Tuesday, high 63 to 69. Tuesday night, clear and chilly, low 42 to 49. Wednesday, plenty of sunshine, high 60 to 65. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm Andy Robb. What are the most common questions those nearing retirement are asking? Will I outlive my money? Retirement questions like these and many more will be answered every Saturday morning at 9 a.m. on planning for a better and safer retirement with hosts Francois and Julian Pozenet. Francois and Julian will help you put your retirement puzzle together. Planning for a better and safer retirement, Saturdays at 9 a.m. on Ocala's News Talk, The Source 96.3 FM and 1370 a.m. 
Broadcasting from the Paddock Mall Studios, this is WOCA, Ocala, Gainesville, The Villages, 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, The Source. Fox News Radio, I'm Karen McHugh. About 35 million people from Pennsylvania to Maine are caught up in what could be one of the biggest snowstorms in some time. Philadelphia Mayor Michael Nutter says they're expecting about two feet by tomorrow. The city of Philadelphia will declare a snow emergency at 6 p.m. tonight. Thousands of flights have already been canceled throughout the region today and tomorrow. New York Mayor Bill de Blasio says this could be one of the biggest blizzards in the city's history. The big storms also put a halt to jury selection for the Boston Marathon bomber trial. The judge in the federal death penalty trial of Johar Sanaya went ahead with today's questioning of the jury pool, but he told attorneys he's letting them out of the vetting process on Tuesday. That is when blizzard conditions in Boston are expected to be at its worst. Fox News Radio's Grinal Scott. Kurdish fighters with help from the U.S. have reclaimed the Syrian town of Kobani on the Turkish border from ISIS. Fox News. We report. You decide. America was built by people with a few dollars and a dream. And while many don't know it, there's one path to success that still only requires a dream and about $10. That's right. If your dream is to start or grow your business, something as simple as the right business card could make all the difference. And today at Vistaprint.com, you can get 500 full-color business cards for only $9.99. That's right. Only $9.99. Just go to Vistaprint.com and enter promo code 4433 at checkout. That's Vistaprint.com, promo code 4433. As a retired teacher, I look for ways to save money for the things I love, like traveling the world. Medicare plans change each year. Fortunately, my Health Mart pharmacist helped me understand my insurance, saving me money on prescriptions. And they can help you, too. My pharmacist cares about my health and the things I love, whatever that might be. Health Mart, caring for you and about you. Visit HealthMart.com for the locally owned pharmacy near you. Yes, it's time again for Buddy Martin. Call him up and tell him what you're thinking. But be kind because he's doing the best he can. That uh, Jim Kirk just sang and then he stopped. I don't know what happened. Seems like uh, the Gremlins are here already, and I just got started today. But uh, no, 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 the uh, Gremlins are here. Tom will have to take complete uh, blame for this. Mm -hmm. I put Jim Kirk in, mm -hmm. and it just skipped over putting the other part of the oh, intro. So, in. so this was Tom's fault. So, not so, Gremlins. Okay, so so we're actually breaking in a couple of new interns today, and you're setting a, a new precedent. Prime example. Yeah, so they know how not to do it. Well, yeah, they, they just it's good. whatever I do, do just the opposite. Yeah, that's what you got to do. So they, they got volume turned. Yeah, turn up. your volumes on the, those on knobs there. there you can We're going to introduce them in just a minute uh, and uh, let you know who they are. On the program today, as I said earlier, we're going to have a full house. So talking about the coach championship, uh, obviously the Super Bowl is going to take up a lot of discussion today. Uh, we will uh, we will have a, we'll have a, a great lineup of guests. Uh, starting with Hubert Mitzel at four thirty five from TV twenty. Hubert, I want to thank. Hubert's probably covered around 35 of the 49 Super Bowls. He hasn't covered it in four or five years. Woody Page is somewhere in the 30s. I think, if I haven't lost count of mine, I was – you remember, Tom? I think I was in the high 20s. I thought, you said, I thought you said you were 30. around like 29, 30. Yeah, somewhere somewhere there. in there. So we might have covered 100 Super Bowls among the three of us there. So be interesting to kind of go back. That's and, a bunch uh, of Super Bowls. Well, I mean, the, why it's important, and these young fellows here can talk, can, can bring up questions if they want to, is that the evolution of this thing for 49 years now has become the number one spectacle in all sports. And when I grew up as a kid, and you too, Tom, really the number one thing was the World Series. Without a doubt. When yeah. I was a kid, the World Series was much bigger than the Super yeah. Bowl. And, and so now, of course, the Super Bowl and pro football has taken it over. And now college football coming on really strong with uh, the championship game. By the way, I read a story today that the NFL is already maneuvering, trying to get the dates changed of the championship games for college next year because in case they decide to expand their games, right. they want to have more – they want to have their games on certain nights. So you know that when the NFL is negotiating with you about changing your dates that you've uh, you hit the jackpot. So – that's uh, part of what we'll talk about today on the program. Uh, and uh, I thought that one of the biggest sporting events 
period was the first full week of April, buddy. I thought that was the biggest sporting well, event in the world. It is, and these guys will want to talk about that, too. When the azaleas um, and the dogwoods are in bloom, I thought that was more certain. important. Hey, you brought something up about these planes uh, these uh, before we get to the break. and get Five chance. different planes diverted. One that disturbs me, and, and you're going to get the kooky calls. All right, you're going to get those. Right. And like you said in the first hour, you have to take them serious. They're bomb threats. Uh, you know, you, you can't take it lightly. And uh, – and I'm surprised we haven't had more of those, especially with a high alert that we have right now. Right. But here's another thing that I that, that kind of concerns me. My son Brendan got a drone for Christmas. He loves it. Uh, there, and he said there's so many thousands more of drones out there than ever before. Oh, I bet with him, with his photography and all, that's a good thing. It's great. But here's the problem. I don't understand the regulation of these things. And I said this earlier. Are there regulations? That's what I don't know. And... I, I read the story. Uh oh! Now here's my example. This is a story out of Washington. A small drone flying low to the ground crashed into the White House grounds yeah. before dawn on Monday, triggering a major emergency response and raising fresh questions about security at the presidential mansion. No kidding. Although President Barack Obama was not at home, the security breach prompted a lockdown of the entire complex till officials could examine the drone. The White House later said the drone did not pose a threat. Well, it always poses a threat if it's coming to the White House. Right. All I have to have a, is a bomb on them, and there's a threat. <laughs> yeah. So I'm a little worried about these drones. I, I mean, I think they're a great thing. I think there'll be a time when we'll have one and say, hey, I'm going to send you something over your house, Tom. Let me put it on my drone. I'll drop a package off. But right now, I don't understand. The FAA certainly can't regulate them because they can't regulate the planes they got right now. So that's a little something we'll talk about down the road someplace and something that I'm a little bit concerned about. Also, I want to say, saw Boyhood over the weekend. It's a, it's a much heralded movie. It's the story of a young boy uh, made over 12 years. Uh, Ethan Hawke and um, Patricia Arquette among the ones who are in it. And I'll just say this in my little mini review of it. Um, Ethan Hawke was a really formidable actor in this role, and he played like the unemployed dad who couldn't get get a break and it was divorced from his wife but he always stayed connected to his kids always involved in the life of his two kids Patricia Ar- Arquette was terrific she was the thrice married woman mom who was always fighting for a better life for her and her kids and she kept supporting her own kids and she worked hard and it, only I don't give the movie away but at the end she has to ask herself was it really worth it and it's like watching a documentary of a family of a family growing up but here's the thing. When you show a documentary over 12 years, you need some kind of milestone to know where you are because you don't really understand. How would you know the difference between six years old and eight years you old? You know how? Yeah. You don't. And right. the other thing is the whole point here This is that the only way you can tell if you, is by watching closely, if you see the designs of things like computers and technology changing, and you also see the hair growth and the different styles of hair, and you begin to catch on, oh, this is five years later, or this is whatever. You're guessing. But, and you would know the answer to this, Tom, in movie worlds, how do you tell the passage of time? It's very simple. It's old and cliched, but you have a calendar ripped off. You have a clock spinning around. Right. You always have newspaper headlines. Right. Uh, they you use that once. Uh, so it was a little difficult to tell exactly where you were in the story. Maybe that was why I was so cool and hip, because they didn't want to give that away. I wanted you to figure that out. Anyway, it was a, it was a long movie. Uh, in the end, uh, I would say good film, some excellent acting, maybe not a great film, but an award or two for Patricia Arquette. And by the way, she won Best Supporting Female Actor in a Supporting Role uh, last night on, on the SAG Awards. So uh, I guess they <clears throat> liked her performance. And think what she had to do. She had to keep changing each each For 12 time. years. Yeah, 12 years. So Birdman still gets your nod, though, over this movie? Uh, yes. And Birdman, by the way, was given the most outstanding uh, uh, last night by the SAG Awards as the most outstanding, I think they had the cast... I believe they got an award. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It was most yeah, yeah, yeah. most Before, outstanding performers cast. by cast. Yeah. Right. And then also the only other one of our TV shows that did anything was Downton Abbey. Uh, got best ensemble in a drama series. So last night can't watch. Can just watch so many awards movies, <clears throat> awards programs, and I've kind of had it with that. Let's take a break. We come back. Howie George and Palmer Lovell are here. Some of you who follow golf may know them. They're both very fine young golfers, and they'll be joining us this week. 
And I believe Howie may have a little bit of an announcement to make. I'm not sure. We'll see what he wants to tell us about his round of golf yesterday. Uh, and exciting plans for them and some Ocala golfers that you'll want to follow. So we come back, the radio debut of Howie George and Grant Level, I guess – Probably Grant. You sure it's Grant? Grant? I'm sorry, I didn't mean Grant. Grant would be good if Grant could talk because he's not here. I'm Palmer sure. level. I was so busy thinking about the alphabetical thing about what should go first, and George is first, and Level is second. That I said Grant instead of Palmer. So anyway, Palmer level. I'll reverse it. Howie George next. Talking about golf and maybe playing for a golf team. We'll tell you about that next right here in the Voice of Ocala. 1370 AM, 96.3 FM. We're live and local. The source. Here in Florida, when you're looking to go to the beach, you've got hundreds of options. Theme parks, no shortage of options there either. But when it comes to home insurance, most companies have only one option. Allstate is different. Here in Florida, Allstate agents offer home insurance options from several companies, so they can help you get the coverage that's right for you. And they'll help you save on quality car insurance, too. For starters, safe drivers save 45% with Allstate. So before you settle for just one option, talk to someone with many home and car insurance options. Your local Allstate agent. Are you in good hands? Hi, this is Kevin McDonald, your local Allstate agent. To get your quote, please call us at 622-2333 or stop by one of our two Ocala locations. Allstate has no financial responsibility to you for any home insurance policy you purchase and would not be responsible for any claims. Allstate does not make any representations or accept liability related to operations of home insurance companies, including but not limited to their financial conditions. Subject to terms, conditions, and availability. Savings vary. Stay with us and sleep better at the Sleep Inn and Suites of Ocala Bellevue, located next door to Don Garlitz Museum. And a few minutes from Florida Horse Park, our award-winning, newly refreshed Sleep Inn and Suites offer its comfy, clean rooms, free, fast Wi-Fi, and service with a smile. Start your day with a deluxe hot breakfast and unwind in our heated outdoor pool. Our convenient 24-hour fitness and business centers allow you to stay on track whether you're here to play or to work. That's Sleep Inn and Suites, Ocala Bellevue. Proud sponsor of College of Central Florida Basketball. Need a car? Need financing? Need somebody to cut through the red tape and send you rolling down the highway? Prestige Auto Sales is the place to go. Got great credit and just prefer a quality pre-owned car at a fair price from somebody you can trust? Prestige Auto Sales is the place to go. Want to avoid high pressure to feel appreciated and be able to choose from a wide selection of Auto Check and Carfax certified vehicles? Prestige Auto Sales is the place to go. Prestige Auto Sales in Ocala and Bellevue. Prestige, it's all there in our name. If you need a sign or a banner for your yard or your business or your campaign, I'd recommend you go to Signs Unlimited at 318 South Magnolia in Ocala. Screen printing, embroidery, digital graphics, do what I did when we needed signs for the Save the Marion Theater Group. Go see Vic Buttermore at Signs Unlimited if you want quality work with a fast turnaround from somebody who is deeply committed to his community and always ready to assist you. There's a reason Vic's slogan is, it's our business to make your business better. Sign up for Signs Unlimited. Call 732-7341 today. Got a garden and we've got a show for you called you've got a garden with your host master gardener carol ann baldwin carol ann answers your questions about your flowers your veggies your grass your trees even questions about your bugs and she's only on woca so don't miss carol ann baldwin and you've got a garden each tuesday from 9 a.m to 10 a.m right here on woca the source Stay informed on everything going on in the villages with the Village Spectator newspaper. The Village Spectator is exclusively devoted to the villages with news, commentary, and more. And yes, they have Tom's Picks, a free referral for people who are looking for a company to do work for them. Tom's Picks will refer the company that fits your needs, and all we ask is that you tell them where you heard about them. Call Tom's Picks at 804-1223 and pick up your copy of the Village Spectator today. Now read Ocala Downtown Newspaper Online. Weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. For the rest of your Monday, clear and chilly, low 42 to 48. Partly sunny, breezy, and cool Tuesday, high 63 to 69. Tuesday night, clear and chilly, low 42 to 49. Wednesday, plenty of sunshine, high 60 to 65. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm Andy Robb. 
Come be swept away with medieval magic by volunteering at the 29th annual Hogtown Medieval Fair on January 24th and 25th and January 30th through February 1st at the Alachua County Fairgrounds. Volunteers will take tickets, oversee exhibits, or provide breaks for the artists. Become a part of Gainesville's rich tradition of community service. Volunteers will receive a one-day pass. Applications can be downloaded at gvlculturalaffairs.org or call the City of Gainesville at 352-393-8536. It's a personal highlight for me today to introduce these two youngsters. And uh, for them, it's, uh, it's hopefully going to be a fun ride. But for me, it's also an ancestral thing that if you look at my family's background, I'm, my, my dad, Wilton Martin, started out in radio at the old WTMC back in the 30s and 40s. Uh, I started in radio a long time before now and I'm actually was a part owner in the station in the 90s. At WMOP was a station and did a talk show for a number of years there. My son Brendan was a 21-year-old producer at that time. So that's three generations. And now, officially, it becomes four generations because Howie George and Grant Lovell are going to join the team as interns. You, you mean Palmer Level? Palmer Level. What do I want to say, Grant? <laughs> I just got Grant on my mind today, and I keep on. I apologize, and I, he knows I know the difference. Palmer Level. You should remember Palmer when you talk about golf because of Ernie, right? You should always remember Palmer. No, I remember Palmer because he beat me at golf yeah. when tell he was 14. That, tell that story after we get through with these guys, okay? <laughs> anyway, again, sorry about it, Palmer. Uh, let's let you go first. Tell about yourself, Palmer. You're a senior at Forest and what your plans are now to play golf in college. Um, well, like you said, I'm a senior at Forest. Um, I talked to Coach earlier this year and he said he'd give me a chance to walk on i tried out a couple times i just played with the team once and uh i went down there and shot 72 at lone palm and he said he'd give me a spot on the team so i just wanted to go down there and join my brother to play golf at florida southern who is named grant by the way <laughs> he's already down there now where is florida southern at lakeland lakeland yeah now now you see coach what's his name coach what uh coach gordon coach Gordon. okay so you went down and you played a couple of times and you, you you're committed now to go to florida southern right yes sir okay so that's two levels on the team starting next year and now by the way palmer was an all-county player as well and howie george goes to trinity and howie was an all-county player and howie as of yesterday did what howie uh, I was also given the opportunity to try and walk on if I shot a 75, and I shot 74 yesterday. Shot so. 74 at Lone Palm? Yes, sir. I saw I have a spot on the team. Congratulations. Thank you. Now, hi, Thank you. So, so you, you, you haven't committed officially, right? Or do you think you will, or do you know? Um, We'll just see how things go. Yeah. I okay. mean, that's stuff right. always changes, but yeah, yes, sir. Right. Well, that would be cool because now we'd have three Ocala guys on uh, the moccasins, as they're called, golf team. And now there's a possibility, uh, in fact, I hear, was it Palmer, you went told me that there's another fourth going from Ocala down there, right? Christian Anderson? Yeah. Yes, sir. He's going to be on the team for sure. He's played uh, how many years here? For four years in high school, right? Mm-hmm. He's a senior. He's a Trinity? Yes, sir. Yeah, okay. So, so this is pretty cool, right? You guys excited about that? Definitely. Yes, sir. Yeah. I, Tom, that's pretty cool, huh? That is, that's that's very cool. Uh, uh, I you know I, I was a scholarship athlete. I know what it's like the the college lifestyle of being an athlete. Uh, it it it's a lot of work because you got to balance athletics with school and class. It's a lot of work, but in the end, it pays off. And you trust me, guys, you will make connections and friends with people that will be lifelong in your endeavors of collegiate sports tell what you told about me <clears throat> joke me after you got up through playing golf one day at muni <clears throat> i was playing in the bow waves amateur about three years ago yeah and i was angry with you because i uh, played terrible and i couldn't express how terrible i'd played when i'm playing terrible because i may or may not have an italian side to me that comes out a little bit when i'm playing golf but i'm paired with this slight shorter skinny guy kid 14 years old with his mom and dad following him 
and all he's doing is making me look worse and worse as a golfer with every hole. And I'm getting angrier and angrier, but I can't let it out because this kid is your family. Scott and Don, I know them. I, you know, I'm trying to keep my composure. Lo and behold, Palmer does pretty well, and I finished dead last. <laughs> it was not a Sunday. And Palmer, to his credit, he doesn't know because he's seeing me, and he hears me grumbling and stuff. And he gave me a couple looks a couple times like, is this guy fixing to explode? What is going on here? <laughs> he, he didn't know whether I was going to implode, explode, whether the cart was going to get tumped over. He didn't know. So. Which is a reasonable <laughs> assumption, by the way, knowing by, you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so... Yeah, that was that was a very humbling day. But at the time, I didn't realize how good a golfer this fourteen-year-old kid was. Yeah, he 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 was much better golfer than me then, and I want nothing of him now. All right, guys, what are you guys hoping to accomplish in this game of golf? Tell me about what you've learned in it and what you like about it. You go first this time, Howie. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, just I've been playing golf since around my uh, seventh or eighth grade year in middle school, and uh, I don't know. It's just. I've met a lot of people, a lot of friends through golf, and I mean, we go out most every weekend, if not every weekend, and play. So it's just it's nice competition. And you have a brother who plays also, a younger brother. Uh, yes, sir, Cooper George. Yeah. And he's coming along in this game pretty well too, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes, sir. 